Okay, welcome to part four of this series of videos on this Westinghouse tube radio restoration. As you might recall from the last video, we were able to receive stations in the middle of the dial, but the high-end stations had so much oscillation and other garbage that you couldn't listen to them, and we were also picking up 10, 10 a.m. across the dial. Well, I removed the oscillator and mixer tube, which is a type 6F7, and I don't know if you can hear it or not, but but 1010 is still coming through very faintly. It does not matter what position you have the dial set to, so this should be real interesting. Okay, removing the grid cap of the IF amplifier tube eliminated the eliminated the problem, so Evidently, the trouble lies somewhere between the output of the uh, oscillator mixer tube, somewhere between there and the grid input of the IF amplifier tube. And as I was removing the grid cap connection, the uh, top cap of the tube came off, so I'm going to have to fix that. So let's see where this takes us. Okay, I'm in the process of repairing this grid cap that came loose from this particular tube here. What I did was I cleaned off all the old glue. I just stuck uh, one side of my wire cutters in there and ran it around the inside of the cap and broke most of the old dried up glue loose. And then I used alcohol and a q-tip to get the rest of it off and then of course I cleaned the dirt off of the tube and then used a little bit of Elmer's glue to glue the cap back in place and once that dries I will re-solder the lead to the top of the cap and it should be as good as new in that respect anyway. Okay here are all the old capacitors that I removed from the radio as you can see there. Maybe I can sell these to the guitar amp people who like who like the sound of leaky capacitors, so who knows? They might they might pay me enough for these old paper capacitors to uh cover my expenses for the whole radio. Uh, yeah right. Okay, I've checked a few things and I'm sort of at a loss right now. This is something I'm gonna have to sleep over. The IF amplifier tube, a uh, 6D6, checks just fine on my Hickok tube tester. The 6F7 tube, the oscillator section, checks weak. But I noticed on the short wave band, it works much better. Now this is the old police band, so there's not much on it, but. But at least I can get something on this BAM without all the squealing and oscillation that's on the standard broadcast BAM. Okay, here's our standard broadcast band.
you can definitely see we have problems here that need to be worked out. Just an amazing, amazing, amazing man. I'm so honored to There's 1010 10 10 AM that actually comes in better than any other station. I believe that's 910, but anyway, I'm going to have to sleep on this some more. I'll get back to this in a day or two. If anybody has any ideas, I would love to hear them. Like they say, two heads are better than one, but I will get back on this soon because I am very curious as to what's causing this problem. All my voltages seem to check okay. All the resistors seem to check good. So, so what's causing this? It's something I'm going to have to figure out.